I was just over here lurking behind this dumpster. But in case you haven't noticed, I got some Montana gold. So what's the deal with gold anyways? I've been living under a rock. Montana gold has been the brand that you find at all the local art supply stores. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Montana, it's a low pressure nitro acrylic spray paint. Very precise control. It comes in a plethora of colors. Their color gradients are phenomenal. If you're into photorealistic artwork, you're gonna have a lovely time painting because you can find almost any available skin tone that you need to create the artwork that you need to do. It's no wonder that they're one of the most popular brands. Extensive color array, lots of distribution, quality product, and a, a good controllable valve. What you want to see is how it sprays, and I think that's what we're going to do right now. So why don't we take a can, uh, shake it up, because remember you got to shake your cans, and uh, we'll see what it's like. Now remember, these are highly pigmented paints, much more pigmented than what you would get at the hardware store. So it's imperative that you shake them up. In fact, it's, it's necessary. If you don't shake your cans, well... Ah! Oh my God! Well, yeah, of course. So for example, here's two unshaken cans, and you can already hear the black moving around in there. You hear it? The white? Not so much. This is an unshaken can, but the black has a lot less pigment in it than the white does. See the ball stuck inside the pigment down there. Another thing you can do too is if you can't get the ball loose, tap, your, tap it on your hand like this and that'll help loosen up the ball. So make sure you shake the can, also move it around on the bottom, shake it, move it around on the bottom, shake it, get it nicely agitated. That way you can fully experience the product as it's intended to be because you have to remember, these cans travel a long way to get to us. They come all the way from the long land of Europe. When you feel that you got a proper agitation, go ahead and, oh, 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 oh. No, I'm just kidding, the can's not blocked. These come shipped with a special plastic safety ring to make sure that the can doesn't start spraying on you. See, they don't come with it. They don't come with the lid anymore. There's no need for a lid. So to save plastic, they use these little plastic buffer rings, little donuts underneath your cap. So there's no emergencies in shipping, you feel me, baby? So let's go ahead and make sure that's off, and then we'll be ready to spray. But again, this is me trying Montana Gold basically for the first time, taking my virginity. Wow, oh, isn't it beautiful? But <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make sure this is spraying. Slightly, it's a slight scent of, scent of acetone. It's very, very slight. It's very mild. Very, very low odor for a non-water-based spray paint, which is one thing I want to mention too. It's not water-based. So when you see acrylic, it doesn't mean it's made with water. Some of those water-based paints out there are made with alcohol. Stop calling them water-based, guys. Tricking people. So why don't we take this can, do a couple quick tests, and see what it's all about. All right, let's do a couple quick tests of spray here. Do a little flare out. It's a very soft touch. Very controllable. This stock tip, I think you'd be able to use it for pretty much anything. I guess I guess that's how they designed it, right? Man, these are very controllable. Very low dust for a white, a white. Very nice. Let's do a little fade here. Some little dots. Yeah, you could do quite a bit of nice things with this can. I'm actually, it's been a long time since I've used them, but this is a gorgeous paint. This is not how I remember them, by the way. I remember them being a lot more chunky, but you know, again, it was probably about seven years ago when I used them. All right, I got a great little assortment of colors here and I'll kind of go down the line. I got shock black, mushroom, cappuccino, shock orange light, pure yellow, shock green light, fern green, baby blue, shock red, and shock white. And if case you haven't noticed, I got a lot of shock shades. I thought this would be a great way to kind of test the line because in my experience, shock colors tend to be quite nice. And also, I do like the nice primary shades in a lot of my work. And the reason why I chose the colors we're doing today is we're going to be doing a Cheech Wizard 
character. Now, I've come to I've come to realization a lot of you guys don't know who Cheech Wizard is, so we have to take this back to our roots. Who is Cheech Wizard? Well, he was a character. If, I don't know if you guys know who he is, but his name is Vaughn Bode, a very famous artist in the 70s. He did a lot of underground art, you know. He did work for, uh, you know, different magazines and stuff, National Lampoon and whatnot. But he had this character, Cheech Wizard, who was this basically just like a kind of a dick. He was kind of a jerk of a guy, but he was a wizard that lived in a forest with all kinds of magical fairies and stuff. And But he wasn't really a good wizard. He was kind of an anti-hero. You know, he was always, always in search of good beer, attractive women, and, uh, you know, party time, basically. He just wanted to party. Uh, much like a lot of you young lads out there, he was definitely a, a major influence on a lot of the old subway painters. And they were drawn to his artwork and his themes, um, of course, because, you know, a lot of young men painting subway trains, there. this comic definitely appealed to their, to their sense of nature. The style of it, as well, was definitely something that influenced all of our graffiti art. If you look at the character styles, like big feet, the funky eyes, the hats, the big oversized hands with the strange proportions. This is all the roots of everything that we do in graffiti. It really blows my mind because a lot of kids don't even know who Von Bode is or the Cheech Wizard character. So today we're going to paint him just for fun. So all right, let's go ahead and get cracking. All right, I thought this would be a great little tutorial. That way you can learn how to do a nice old school basic character who's essentially the foundation of a lot of all the graffiti characters that we do today. Like I said, the big feet, floppy hat, Funky, funky stuff, you know, it's, it's graffiti, baby. Von Bode was definitely one of the forefathers of what we do. Now, um, I got right here is Shock Orange. So we're gonna go ahead and start painting in his hat, because basically what Cheech Wizard is, is just a big hat with a pot belly sticking out and some little feet. You feel me? Let's try out this shock red. I thought this would be a nice benchmark for the red. We're gonna go ahead and start filling in his legs and his little pot belly here. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Ooh, ooh, really nice. I gotta say, it covers really good for a red. See over the black. It actually covers the black nicely. Mm. All right, the mushroom did very good. It covered actually pretty darn well. But you know, usually those medium browns tend to cover pretty well anyway, so no surprise. Um, but let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and paint the sky in. This is a baby blue and the uh, Montana gold, of course. Alright, one quick little tip, because you're gonna outline this in black anyways. When you're going ahead to do this, don't don't feel like you need to bump the baby blue right onto the red. You feel me? I mean you can if you want to. But just, but just get close, because you're gonna outline all that in black anyways. As you can see, this is gonna be a lighter shade tree. Just thought it'd be fun to do that for uh oh, let me get my respirator. I gotta tell you, this stuff is pretty low odor. It kind of smells like acetone and, and alcohol basically. Still wear a respirator. All right, this is a lighter shade tree, but to give it a little bit more depth, just take the other shade of brown. It's a lighter shade of brown. <laughs> All right, take the darker shade of brown. Just do some face. If you want, you can beat some of it back with the lighter shade. Remember, this is whatever you want it to be. 
All right, sick. So let's go ahead and start outlining the hat. We'll do that first. Don't forget that little overlap right there. All right, let's go ahead and paint his foot here. I don't have enough room to do his whole foot, so it's kind of it's going to have to just bleed off. That's just that's just how it's going to go. Um, oh, don't forget his turn up. All right, let's go ahead and just start drawing in like the tree line. You know what I mean? Just like a cartoon style lines for this tree here. All right, let's go ahead and outline the tree over here. Man, remember it's a cartoon. Hard black outline, baby. That's what you need. What is graffiti but cartooning letters? All right, let's go ahead and put in the grass. The way I do grass on cartoons is pretty simple. I just do like a, I start close, and fade out. Does that make sense, close? So if, if this is the wall, I start, I start close and then fade out like that. Now you can take your light green, do the same. There we go, easy as pie. You guys got this. Oh, no Cheech Wizard is complete without his bottle of booze. Because remember, that's all he spends his time doing. Drinking in the woods. Now remember, Cheech Wizard was kind of a jerk. Don't forget to put a voice bubble with a little sarcastic remark. Alright guys, we're all done and I think it came out pretty nicely. What do you guys think? Pretty clean, pretty happy with it. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, I added a little extra character to it. That was done in my Instagram stories. Oh, you're not following me on Instagram. Well, you better. It's at Green Ranger Reviews. At Green Ranger Reviews. Also, at ArtPrimo.com. At ArtPrimoSF and at our primo Seattle. You gotta follow us, baby. See what's going on. But anyways, a uh, qu couple quick things about these cans. I gotta say I really like the coverage from them. Um, they're smooth, they're clean. They're definitely a lot different than I remember them being. Uh, they dry very, very fast. If you're looking for a fast drying paint like the Molotov, this is right up your alley. All right, now about the colors. The shock red covered great. If you're looking for a good covering red, I think you won't be disappointed. Very, very good. The uh, the greens were fantastic. The fern green, the shot green light. Very, very nice shade. Fades really nicely. Big fan. The shock orange didn't quite cover as much as I'd like it to. But, you know, this is not unusual for oranges. If you look in the Molotov line, the light orange doesn't cover that well either. So, it might just be the pigments. Hard to say, but maybe a little bit more coverage would be nice out of that. You know, I forgot to use the yellow, so we'll have to do that in another video. Oh, but the baby blue, woo. baby blue, you are in the crew, baby. Oh, baby, oh, baby, I love you so. This is definitely, definitely going in my arsenal. The browns, I can't complain, the mushroom and the cappuccino, the lighter shade of brown, man. Excellent, excellent shades. Now, these type of browns tend to cover pretty good, so you won't be disappointed. Uh, the shock black and the shock white, these are fantastic. A perfect outline black, a nice hard hitting clean white. And you know what? There's almost no overspray. You hear that? No overspray. This is fantastic. If you're doing shines, look no further. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. These are all the colors that I used. We will definitely be doing more reviews. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed with it so far. So we'll have more videos coming to you guys along the way, so definitely keep tuned. Definitely hit that subscribe and smash that like button, baby. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. Because I'd appreciate it, thank you. Also, stay tuned for an upcoming video where we hydro dip a genuine Union Pacific Lantern. That's right, the ones that the rail workers carry in the yards. I got one sent to me. We're gonna dip this in the Marabu Hydro Dip Oil Base Formula. Good stuff. So, definitely keep tuned, definitely subscribe, definitely hit that like, and definitely keep tuned because we got more videos coming your way, guys. And always remember, 
you need anything, give me a call. Hello, our primo. Yes, this is GR. We have to help you out. Oh, you'd like that? Fantastic. Hit up 206-365-4083. 206-365-4083. 1234567891006365-4083. Alright, I love you.